These are trying times for rugby union. The Premiership, the top league contest in England, has seen three of its 13 teams go under in the last year. Worcester Warriors, Wasps and London Irish. Three clubs with more than 400 years of combined history, all founded in the 1800s and now dealing with the aftermath of administration. The business model has been under pressure for some time. Costs have been rising fast, partly due to increased competition for players from other leagues. Revenue has not been keeping up, leaving clubs reliant on wealthy owners to keep their show on the road. When the pandemic hit, the sport's rickety finances gave way. So, what can be done? Many are pushing for change, including some of the private equity investors now involved at all levels of the game. Some want to see a global calendar that would stop clubs and countries battling over players and make it easier for fans to know exactly when they need to tune in. The league game is getting smaller too, at least in England. Fewer teams makes for fewer matches and means that each club gets a bigger slice of whatever broadcast and sponsorship money comes in. The talent pool of players is limited, so if you don't need so many of them, the quality of the product on the pitch should rise. Some want the rugby itself to be faster and more entertaining. That means cutting back some of the slower parts of the game, like video referee checks. That could attract new fans, especially in growth markets like the US and Japan. But hanging over all of this are some big questions about the health risks associated with playing professional rugby. The long-term future of the game itself is far from clear.